think it depends. It depends whether the party that you're expressing it is able to withstand your anger. <laughs> um, well, I think it's better to always express it, regardless of what ways you want to express it. It's always better to let lose your feelings. Um, I think it's better to withhold your anger because most of the time when we're angry, we do not think straight and we may regret what we say. Uh, I think it will depend on the situation, but personally for me, I think it's better to hold in my anger because if I ban correct, like, things could get unnecessarily aggressive and then we will lead to a complication of the situation. Hello everyone, we're the International Group 5 and our myth will be based on whether it's better to express anger or hold it in. So our first study is, does venting anger feed or extinguish the flame? So in this study, there are 600 participants who are undergraduate students. Each participant was told to write a one paragraph essay on abortion, whether they're pro-choice or pro-life. However, afterwards, all the participants received negative ratings and comments on their essays. The participants were split into three different groups, the rumination group, distraction group, and the control group. Those in the rumination and distraction groups were told to hit a punching bag, and simultaneously was shown a photo ID of a same-sex student in which the study told them was a person who criticized their essays earlier on. While in the distraction group, they were shown a photo of someone of the same sex exercising. For the control group, there was no punching bag. However, they sat quietly for two minutes, and their justification for this was that the experimenter was fixing a computer. Results show that the aggression level was the highest for the rumination group, followed by the distraction and the control group. Therefore, we can conclude that the neo-association theory contradicts the catharsis theory, and that venting does increase aggression. Moving on to our second study, we will further prove why venting anger is not the way to go. This study revolves around the hypothesis that the catharsis theory only aims to relieve emotions, but not resolve anger and aggression. 150 college students were told to recall an angry moment in their lives and rehearse it in their minds. They were each placed in rooms with a stranger, and they were told to think that this stranger was the one who made them angry in their angry moments. The California Psychological Inventory was used to measure their levels of anger. Those with high levels of CPI, so high anger arousal, took things personally and also exercised little restraint over aggression, while on the other hand, those with low levels of CPI took things objectively, so considered others, and exercised more restraint on aggression. Therefore, similar to the first study, the second study also contradicts the catharsis theory and proves that expressing anger indeed does not reduce aggression.